Subaru owners are fiercely loyal, matched only by hybrid drivers in my estimation. In the past, you had to choose between one or the other. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Now, Subi's XV Crosstrek is available with a hybrid powertrain, their first ever. And yes, it still has symmetrical all-wheel drive. Toyota owns 16.5% of Subaru's parent company, Fuji Heavy Industries, so it makes a lot of sense to take a Prius hybrid powertrain and stuff it under the hood of the XV Crosstrek. Except that's not what happened here. Subaru built its own hybrid system because engineers wanted to keep the 2-liter 4-cylinder boxer engine and the low center of gravity that comes from its flat profile. A torque-rich 13.4-horsepower electric motor is built into the continuously variable transmission. There's a simulated manual shift mode using these. A nickel-metal hydride battery pack is mounted in the trunk floor. The gas engine always powers on when starting up. Gas-only Crosstreks have 148 horsepower. The slightly heavier hybrid, 160 with more low-end torque. The performance bump is noticeable. The generous 8.7 inches of ground clearance remains, so bombing over rough roads to do the kinds of things that Subaru drivers do is no problem. Of course, the gas engine shuts down when the car isn't moving. The Subaru nearly always uses both gas and electric together to accelerate from a standstill. In rare cases, at slow speeds, it can run only on electric power for short distances. In rush hour type driving, the cycling of the gas engine gets tedious. The suspension and steering in the hybrid have been retuned for a slightly sportier dynamic. The hybrid version of the Crosstrek remains fun to fling into corners, so the Subaru engineers kept their promise there. Fuel economy? Well... The EPA rates the standard model's average at 28 miles per gallon. The hybrid? 31. Not a huge difference. I averaged 27. Do not expect Prius-like gas mileage here. Subaru is not known for luxurious interiors. Don't be surprised by average grade plastics, a display that looks much like a first generation iPod and faux aluminum trim that fools no one. This information screen is pretty small. Subaru needs to find a better interface here. The buttons are tiny. On the plus side, gauges are bright and crisp. Heated leather seats are road trip rated and visibility is quite good. The hybrid system doesn't seem to have affected space in the back seat. I'm five foot nine, and I have enough knee, leg, and foot room back here. Most will never notice the battery vent. I would like another pocket here and a power port. Families use those kinds of things. Two average adults will be comfortable. Three will be okay if they're thin hiking buddies. The standard Crosstrek and Impreza hatchback each score a six in the TP trunk test. You sense a little foreshadowing here. Remember, the battery is mounted back here. There's no spare tire. That would come in handy far from civilization. That means the cargo space remains nearly the same at six packs. I was just building a little suspense. This top-of-the-line touring model goes for $30,120, since the hybrid version adds nearly 3000 bucks to the price. Uh, do the math, it's tough to make your money back on fuel savings. If you simply must have this badge on your Subaru, then the slightly sportier hybrid is for you. Everyone else will be happy with the standard XV Crosstrek and a lot of money left over for camping gear.